Hey, that didn't take very long. I was able to find a wood trailer that has some narrow slats in it. It's about head height. It's about the same height as the actual back of the truck. So when I fill this thing up, I won't be reaching up and then making this thing top heavy and rolling it over again. Although I almost do roll this truck over with the trailer on it a couple of times. Over the next minute and a half, you're gonna see a montage of things going on over a multi-day period. Essentially what was happening is I was cutting one day, I clear-cutted the whole back half of the property. All the major big trees are down there, so still a few left, but most of all the big 25 meter and 35 millimeter trees have been taken. I was making about three trips a day with wood, making about five to six grand. I think the largest I had was a six grand, six grand uh, day or six grand trip. <clears throat> After clear cutting all the timber, I then um, started hauling it as quickly as I could. Uh, very slow, big pieces um, were very heavy, so they'd be cut very small so I could carry them and load them into this trailer. Um, I also stopped one day and did a load of uh, hay bales, or the grass bales, and that came out to about 1,600 in total. Uh, but each one of the trips, I was trying to load the back of the truck uh, to at least where it was stable, and then just put this little trailer through its paces and put as much in it as I possibly can, working deep into the night, every single night, getting up at 8 a.m. and going back at it. The clear cutting is essentially going to be great once I get a chance to make some fields out of that, but right now it's just full of stumps. You, you can't mow it, you can't really do anything with it right now. <clears throat> I don't have a mower as of yet, but uh, something to do in the future. So the general idea behind this is I was going after as much timber and as much sales as I could to get to that $85,000 mark. And after doing the clear cutting and doing some counting and making a couple of loads, I decided really quickly there's no way I was going to hit that 85k mark. So I had to come up with something different. So essentially, I grinded all the way out until I got about $30,000. And once I had $30,000, then I was able to invest in something I found, and that was actual a radio tower. So the radio tower is going to give me income on a daily basis. That daily income, it will take longer to generate that 85K than what I actually want it to do. I want it to get faster, but this radio tower, although it is ugly and standing up in the middle of my mountain here, I do have a one-year contract on this thing, and they're supposed to pay me $67,000 for this thing being up. Um, and again, that's 60, uh, 67,000 a month or 63,000. I can't remember which, but anyway, so put this tower up and it started generating income, which was fantastic because I actually needed some income, uh, because I am still in trouble for my penalties. Uh, I cannot lease. Um, and so everything I have to get, I have to purchase, I have to buy it. So the second part of the strategy was to <clears throat> put that up and then actually go find an inexpensive, um, sickle, or I, what I end up buying was a sickle, getting an inexpensive mower, and then getting an inexpensive um, forager as well, so a forage wagon. So I end up getting a sickle and a forage wagon, and we'll be bringing those back to the shop and starting clearing the land and trying to get as much grass as I can while I'm waiting for this tower, <laughs> it's an ugly thing, uh, to make me a few dollars. And uh, you'll be seeing more of that here in the next few episodes. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was kind of a short one and also just had a little bit of my montage in it because I lost a majority of my voice footage going through this. So super short, just a little montage and a little bit of setting the stage for what we're going to see in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for following along with my story. <clears throat> Hope you're enjoying it. If you do, give it a thumbs up and a like. Share it if you would. Subscribe if you hadn't. I'd really, really appreciate it. And please send along any suggestions, comments, things you'd like to see. I'll be working on a lot of different videos here over the next few months while I get this channel up and running. I love this game. I think it's fantastic. It's a lot of fun. I hope you're enjoying this little story mode. 
and I hope to do a lot more on this channel as we move forward. Thanks, take care.